I don't have OCD. Hold on one second. All right. <laughs> That's it. All right. Tell hip hop I still love her. Tell her one day we as poets will realize that bashing that genre won't result in success for this one. We need videographers, we need venue owners, we need innovators in this poetry game. Instead of swerving into hip hop, drive steady in your own lane. We be at open mic venues acting like all we listen to is Nas, Kendrick, or Badu. Acting like we ain't never had a drink to a Cardi track or two. Acting like our play playlists are full of Mariba or Nina Simone, searching frantically for criticism anytime a Drake song comes on. And that's funny, because with all that complaining we do, at the end of the day, poets listen to rap too. Some poets can spit city girls lyrics better than my Emmy DJs. Slam Champs got Young Boy on replay. Quick to rap along with Wayne Tracks, no delay. Dame still trying to throw Rockefeller signs on the freeway. So I won't front. Won't act like I don't have my favorite Nicki Minaj lyrics. Won't act like I only listen to conscious rappers. The music coming through my subwoofers is diverse as we are. From Janelle Monet to Victoria Monet, from George Clinton to Lucille Clifton, and a lot of poets don't even know who she is. Like hip hop, the original purpose of the game was to keep it real, and they ain't nothing real about criticizing Gucci Mane just to prove your mic skills. I mean, if poetry is all love and peace and praying to the East, then we then we embrace all of our brothers and sisters, even those who come from the streets. And really, there ain't no difference between rappers and poets. I know we wouldn't mind the large homes and the jewelry. The only difference between us and them is that they get paid for their insecurities. So for us, it's like Andre said, it's step your game up time. Put your money where your mouth is. Invest in your lines, invest in your rhymes, I mean, when was the last time you spent your last dime on a studio session? When was the last time your show money put food on your family's table or paid your mom's medical bills? When was the last time you hustled your way out your hood? Half of us won't even save 10% of our paychecks to put towards these messages that will supposedly heal the world. So how can we criticize rappers who flip drug money into successful careers when we won't even flip legal money to advance our own poetry careers? A lot of us won't even leave our own cities to perform, not even pushing our own art. We just sit around talking about what hip hop's not instead of what poetry is. We sit around complaining about albums by rappers that we don't know, yet we don't, we don't support the endeavors of the poets we do know. A lot of times, we don't support the messages coming out of our own genre. So yo, if it ain't no Portia O on your playlist, no Lady Breon on your playlist, if it ain't no Black Chakra in your search history, if it ain't no Sonya Sanchez on your bookshelf, then yo, stop complaining. Stop complaining about rap music and start supporting your own genre, uplifting your own culture. Stop complaining about the glass of dirty water and simply show the clean glass because society doesn't need you to restate what's going on in the current state of hip hop. We need you to state what's going on in your current state, your community, your city, your world. What solutions do you offer? What are the positives of your lifestyle? We need you to fill that void you keep reminding us of. We need you to be the solution to the problem you continue to present. Poets, remember your purpose. Be the action, not just the reaction. Advance this genre without bashing another, and if you run into hip-hop, tell her I still love her.